is another potential solution to flood related problems that again focuses on animals. Uh, idea for this came to me when I kind of saw uh, different frogs sitting on the back of a snake during rain to save themselves from that. So I had this idea, what if you place floating structures, or why there can be lots of them, you could, there are lots of ideas to go about it. You could also use water bottles, all right, rafts made of water bottles or boats made of water, you don't need a boat per se, but just like a structured off float, in case of rainfall, there are tutorials of people making boats of water bottles and water bottles have air in them so they would float. Uh, there might be something similar, there are lots of ideas. Don't know how long they would last, but water bottles definitely last. And this would also might be a good way to recycle them. But you might also be littering the forest, so hopefully you might find a better alternative where you can coat the water bottles in some green thing so they don't look that bad. Anyhow, the main idea is that there are ropes or rope ladders, whatever like that, dangling from them. So in the case of floods, Animals that cannot fly, or when the water level has exceeded their uh, overall height, they're not adapt enough to climb onto trees or things like that. They can probably seek refuge on those floating rafts of the raft kind of things and save their lives. It is something that could be researched first, but yeah, I think that this idea could work and is also cheaper and hopefully might save lots of animals. I mean, I think preserving nature is good and all, but at this point, saving their lives uh, would be more important than making things look a bit more uglier because there already has been lots of loss of biodiversity and animals and things like that. I think more than 3 million died or something in the forest fires that took place. I mean, there has been lots of loss of life. And they might even go extinct if this continues, because the disasters and the floods will continue to happen. So, yeah, saving those little few that are left and helping them continue their population, preserve their species, and keep the ecosystem more balanced is something that humans definitely need to work on. Because climate change is sort of quite heavily a man-made concept. The animals were not responsible for that. We are responsible for these kind of floods and disasters and all of that. So it is also us humans who are intelligent and smart enough to save them. Man-induced problems and man-induced solutions are 